Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to detect a rat or mice. I have taken rat as Bengal lenses for this purpose. So let's start. At first, put the specimen on its back on a dissecting tray and fix the limbs with pins. As rat is a vertebrate, therefore we have to dissect it out through the ventral surface as the nerve cord and vertebral column runs through the dorsal surface. Try to stretch the limbs. Here I am stretching the limbs and pinning it down in the paraffin of the tray. Here it is. For your kind information, this specimen was killed by my neighbor by a mechanical trap which is used to kill rodent pests. Here I am stretching the limbs and pinning it down. That's it. I have completed the pinning process. Now. I have to lift the skin of the abdomen with a pair of forceps and have to make a small cut in the skin. Here it is. Now, starting from this cut, we have to give an incision in the abdominal muscle which will extend up to the snout anteriorly and the genital opening posteriorly. This is the abdominal muscle. Make incision here and just progress anteriorly. In this process, you have to cut the ribs. Now I am cutting the ribs, yes. Here you have to be very careful not to damage the heart. These are the ribs and this is the sternum. Now I am cutting the diaphragm. That's it. Just hold the ribs and make incisions carefully. Sorry for the inconvenience. The tray is not in a good shape, therefore the paraffin is floating up repeatedly. Now give an incision posteriorly up to the genital pore. Here it is. This may be a solution. Whatever. Let's concentrate on the dissection again. Hold the skin and ribs with forcep and pin it down. Similar process in the right side. In this region, you have to be extra careful because 
very delicate organs are lying just beneath them. Here you can give lateral incision towards the femurs which will help you to open up the skin. Now hold the ribs and pin it down. Here it is. Hold the ribs and pin through it. Yes. Now my printing procedure is complete. Now I'm going to show you the different organs inside. These are the lungs. Yes, this pinkish one. And just below the lungs you can find the heart. This is the stomach yellowish one the stomach is large and j-shaped white or light yellow in color and just below the stomach you can find the c-shaped duodenum it is it is the duodenum and within the c fold of the duodenum you can find the pancreas this is the pancreas just a leaf like structure this is the small intestine and in between the cords of small intestine you can find a very transparent and thin membrane which is called mesentery you can find some blood vessels also within this mesentery Below the small intestine, you can find the large intestine. It is the large intestine, blackish in color. And this solen area is rectum. This is the rectum. I think it is the testis. And it is the urinary bladder. Yes. Though testis remains in the scrotal sac, but somehow one of them came above and the abdominal cavity in this case. This one the testis. Now I will show you the kidney. This is the kidney. This is the left kidney and just above the kidney you can find the adrenal gland this is the adrenal gland this is the kidney and just above the kidney you can find the adrenal gland triangular in shape And this is the ureter and renal arteries and vein also runs parallel to the ureter now I'm gonna show you the right kidney this is the right kidney and this is the adrenal gland remove it 
okay then this is the urinary bladder small and large intestine this is the liver and in between the liver and lungs you can find the diaphragm these are the lungs somewhat pink in color now make a cut here to open the trachea this is the trachea okay and below the lungs you can find the heart this one is the heart this one this is the ventricle and just above the ventricle we can find some reddish chambers which are auricles this is the heart auricles reddish in color and this is the ventricles okay this is the remnants of the diaphragm just between the liver and the heart so below the diaphragm you can find liver then stomach small and large intestine urinary bladder gonads kidney etc spleen also lies here and above the diaphragm you can find heart lungs trachea esophagus etc so i think you can see relative positions of different organs and glands in a rat so these are the intestines urinary bladder this is the trachea and just above the trachea you can find the thyroid gland i want to show you this is the thyroid gland i don't know whether you can see or not 